Well, first of all, in, in my whole career, I've been working with, uh, with many women, uh, practically uh, in all my different positions. Uh, I've had the privilege to have uh, practically uh, balanced teams, uh, always, you know, uh, uh, half men, half women or so. So that aspect of, of working together or of uh, taking our differences as advantages has always been present in my career. So that's the first one. Second point, very concretely, recently, um, at the Chancery of the Prime Minister, um, I, I'm doing external communication there, and we decided that we would train uh, civil servants, communicators, uh, to fight gender stereotypes in public communication. So we developed tools. We, have, we, we handed out uh, today a gender checklist for communicators, for instance. Uh, we will publish um, in a few weeks uh, a, a, a brochure, a, a, a small book actually, uh, about uh, gender mainstreaming in public communication. And we will um, uh, lead workshops uh, with our, our colleagues from the, the federal public sector uh, during the following months. Uh, and I strongly believe in this. Uh, I think or communication in general, people to people communication, but also advertising campaigns from the private sector, the public sector, uh, are perfect vehicles for stereotypes, unfortunately, and biases. Uh, we can change that, I'm convinced, uh, by, by uh, giving our communicators the tools to realize how they risk to, to manipulate, to brainwash uh, the citizens by uh, using or, or giving a voice to strong stereotypes that are totally against equality between men and women. So that's a practical example, and I really believe uh, it can, can help us to change, uh, at least to change the perception and to change um, the, um, the attitude of communicators uh, about what they, what they do every day.